Welcome to the F5 Networks, Advanced Web Application Firewall, Demos Eras. In this demo, we'll show how to use Big IP Advanced Web to block requests based on the origin source IP geolocation. This is Demo 38 of the AWEF Demo Series, and it's intended for advanced level Big IP Advanced Web users. For optimal viewing, we recommend using full screen mode. The environment for this demo contains three devices. A Windows workstation will be used to submit requests to the web application from several geolocations, including the United States, and the United Kingdom, and also North Korea, and Syria. These requests will arrive at the F5 Big IP system, running Advanced WEF. The Big IP system sits in front of, and protects, the back-end web application. The Big IP system, using its full proxy architecture, examines every request and can allow requests from some geolocations. But blocked others and prevent them from going to the web servers. First, We'll start an iMacro in Firefox. This iMacro simulates thousands of requests to the DVWA login page. Now, let's examine the virtual server we're using. This is a standard HTTP virtual server that listens on 10.1.10.35. On the virtual server resources page, you can see that this virtual server is configured with an I rule, which modifies the IP address of every request to a random worldwide IP address. On the virtual server security policies page, you can see that we already have a big IP advanced web security policy attached to this virtual server name 33, geolocation, security policy. Let's view the big IP advanced web event log. You can see that requests are coming from multiple IP addresses. Using the flag icons. We can also view the actual country of origin for each request. Let's select a request from the United States. We can use this option to filter the log entries to view only requests from this geolocation. We can also use the open filter icon and select a different geolocation to filter the log entries by. Next, we'll simulate malicious requests to the DVWA login page. We'll stop the current I macro and then run a different I macro. This macro simulates several different SQL injection attempts to the DVWA login page. We'll refresh the event log. Then select a log entry from North Korea. And then filter the log file to show only this geolocation. We'll then select a log entry with a violation rating of 5. And then add this to the filter. Notice that this filter was applied in addition to the existing filter. After viewing the attack signatures that are being sent, we've identified that we're getting a multitude of these malicious SQL injection attempts from the North Korea geolocation. We've decided to block all requests, malicious or otherwise, from this geolocation. We can use this option in the event log to disallow all requests from this geolocation. Notice that we're informed we need to apply the policy in order for this change to take effect. 
Let's open the geolocation enforcement page. The Korea Democratic People's Republic of Geolocation has been added to the disallowed geolocation list. We'll now apply the policy. The macro is blocked after the first malicious request from North Korea. Let's rerun the first macro, which contains no malicious requests. While some requests are allowed, many requests are getting blocked. Let's reload the event log. We'll use the filter option and select to view only blocked log entries. There are now several blocked log entries. We can see that this request from North Korea was blocked due to being a geolocation that is disallowed. We've decided to block an additional geolocation. We'll select the Syrian Arab Republic geolocation and add it to the disallowed list. Then save and apply the policy. After reloading the event log, there are now blocked requests coming from the new geolocation. By filtering, we can quickly see how many malicious requests were blocked, because they came from Syria. Let's see that we've identified that the web application attack from Syria has ended. We can easily use the geolocation enforcement page, and remove the geolocation, and then save, and apply the policy. We can see that requests from Syrian Arab Republic are once again allowed. In the last part of this demo, we'll view the big IP advanced WEF security charts. We'll change the time period to the last hour and the chart type to stacked. We'll then drill down to the DVWA virtual server. We can see the number of legal and blocked requests. We'll now change this chart to view it by the originating client country. We can see where both valid and malicious requests to our web application are coming from. Let's go back to viewing the chart by request types. Then select to view only the blocked requests. And then view the blocked request by client country. We are now viewing the origin of the requests that were blocked due to geolocation enforcement. At any time, we can create and download a PDF of the report we are currently viewing in the configuration utility. Thank you for watching this demonstration on using F5 Big IP Advanced F to block requests based on the origin source IP geolocation. We encourage you to watch additional AWF demos and for more details on how Advanced F can protect your web applications. Contact your F5 Network Sales Account Manager. For questions or comments about this video, contact Chris Manley at the email address at the bottom of the page.